Hello lover friends, another week, another release and another video just for you. Let's find out what's new in version 10.35. Let's go. First I'd like to show you a new blade directive. In this application when I log in on the dashboard you can see we have here the total users here which is uh, 123,000. And in order to show this, we have in our blade file, when we scroll down here, here I'm showing the total users and I'm using the new number service, the number helper to show this number of users with the four humans method. And in order that I don't need here the full namespace here, I have imported here above in this blade file and this is how this works. And that's not too bad, but now we can do better by using, instead of the PHP directive, using the use directive. I'm wrapping this here now, and now this still works. Let's refresh here. Yeah, you can say this is still working, and this is now way nicer than before because it's less code, which we always love to have. And also what's cool here now is I can provide here a second parameter. Let's say I want to create an alias, calling this now my number. Let's copy this, bring this down here, refresh, and you can see this is also still working. So this is now a new way to import a class with a way nicer and cleaner syntax, and it's only just one line instead of three like it was before. I'm a big fan of such small additions that help you every single day. Thank you, Simon. Then our latest number helper also received a new method I'd like to show you. Even though this number is already quite readable, there is now a new way we can write this, which is even shorter and which is especially nice for dashboards or where we don't have that much space. Let's go back to the code. As before, you've seen we're using the four humans method here and the new addition that we have now is an abbreviate method. Let's try this out. Refresh and you can see we see 123K now, which stands for 1000. This is now pretty nice, so if we add some more zeros here, you can see we have now millions. Let's see, what else can we have? Billions. What comes after that? I don't know. Trillions, maybe? Yeah, so this is how you can use this new abbreviate method, and especially this is handy when you have some kind of dashboard where you don't have that much space and want to show this shorter version of this number, which we can do now with this new helper. Thank you, Chasey. And last, the artisan down method received a new argument that you can provide. So currently this site is accessible by everyone, but if I want to bring the site down, I can use PHP artisan down, which brings the site down, which is now in maintenance mode and it's not accessible anymore. Let's bring it up again, PHP artisan up, and you can see we now have access to it again. But a feature which we already had before is when you use the down method that you can provide a secret Let's say it's one, two, three, four. And then you will get this URL with the secret where for everyone else, the site is not accessible anymore. So if I refresh it, we can't have access to it. But if I use this link here, you can see we have. So the first thing that is new with this new PR is that we see here directly the URL and we can click it, which is pretty nice, but we also can do something else. So let's bring this site up again. And now let's take it down again. And now we call with secret as a parameter, which gives us now already a URL with a random string here. And again, for everyone else, this site is not accessible, but with this link, we do have access to it. Thank you, Jacob, for this improvement. And there you have it, my friends, another taste of level for the week. See you the next time. Bye.